Okay, uh, so uh, I wanted to tell you uh, about uh, this uh, LibreOffice uh, Libre port I've been working on for the past three years, on and off, no, not continuous ta time frame. Um, I'm Kasper Kasper, and uh, I'm, I write software for, li for a living and as a hobby. Uh, I'm Heiko developer. Uh, I mostly write applications. I sometimes contribute something to the system itself. Uh, I've also contributed code to KDE um, and some other small open source projects. So, uh, what is Haiku? Uh, Haiku is an open source MIT licensed operating system. Uh, it is a BOS array implementation. We, uh, BOS was uh, an operating system that was uh, that died in 2001 because uh, the f uh, company behind it uh, ba bankrupted, but it had really uh, a lot of really nice technical uh, solutions. So um, our goals are to be uh, desktop oriented. We we don't really want to. Um, we are not aiming to for like tablets or anything like that. We uh, we are focused to make sure that uh, working on a desktop is com comfortable. Uh, we maintain binary compatibility with BOS, so uh, you can run your old applications without recompiling them. Um, and we want to deliver consistent user, exper user experience, and we can do that by uh, controlling the whole stack. We have our custom kernel. We, uh, our um, windowing system is also custom. Um, and there are two official flavors. There is GCC 2-based 32-bit and GCC 5-based 62-bit. And before you run away screaming that it's uh, GCC 2, um, you don't actually have to uh, comply with uh, uh, C++ flavor that GCC 2 understands. That's only a requirement for kernel code. You can actually write applications in GCC 5 and run them on the GCC 2 compiled system because we uh, ship uh, GCC5 compiled uh, user user space, so you don't really uh, have to uh, do anything with GCC2. This is the user interface. Uh, it's pretty old-fashioned, but some users love it, some users hate it. Uh, there is really not much more to, to say here. It's, it's a matter of taste. Okay, but there is one question. Can it run LibreOffice? And well, as we're, we're going to see, yes, it can. Kind of. Almost. Uh, so, oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, what, is, what is already out there? And the problem is that Haiku proud itself to be desktop oriented, but there is not really an office to it. So that's a problem. And until very recently, um, you couldn't really, uh, uh, you didn't, we didn't really have any office to it. There was, go, there was, there is Go Productive, uh, but the problem is that uh, it was commercial, it was, uh, it was proprietary, and it was closed source, and we don't have the source code. Um, it's, it runs on Haiku only thanks to the binary compatibility, and it's really old. Uh, the last release was around 18 years ago, and uh, so it doesn't support any of the modern formats. Uh, Caligra was ported recently along with KDE f frameworks, um, but this is uh, very recent. Uh, it was ported in November 2017, and it's good enough for most use cases, but it's not as f uh, it doesn't have as many features as LibreOffice has, and um, yeah, so that's... Okay, so uh, another office suite is Think Free Office, but and it was running thanks to OpenJDK. Uh, it was Swing based, but they no longer sell licenses for that, so that's not really an option anymore. Mm, some individual apps that were there, there was AB Word port, but it was it was actually in the state uh, as my uh, LibreOffice port is. Uh, it's it's uh, it wasn't really usable. Mm, there, there is Summit. Uh, it's a spreadsheet application that was uh, written for BOS. 
and there is Scribus, which is a cute, uh, cute application. Because we have also a cute toolkit ported, so any ap cute application can work on Haiku as well. Okay, so the timeline. Uh, I have started working on it in 2014, and to be, to be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> Uh, and I get sidetracked uh, with our projects until the beginning of 2017 because uh, that's the kind of a problem with Haiku that uh, there is a lot of things to do and there are not a lot of people doing them. Um, so uh, when I came, came back to it, uh, I've updated the base to point, uh, 5.3 because uh, previously I was working on master but then I decided that it would be better to have a fixed reference to, to work on. And when I uh, restarted the work, I got a first window render after two weeks. Uh, continued the work until the end of January and did some work in April. And that's the result. Uh, so later that year, uh, we had the kernel debugging camp, camp. It was Haiku Coding Sprint in November 2017. Uh, and it was really great because uh, we could work on uh, any Haiku-related project just all the time. So a lot of work done there in just three days. Uh, I have implemented window positioning uh, so that uh, the code uh, would risk uh, the um, Haiku layer would respect where, where the window should be positioned. Uh, I rewrote, rewrote uh, the rendering backend to be more stable because uh, lots of crashes were related to um, this th uh, threading model BAPI uses, which I'm going to talk about later, and implemented SAL virtual device, which uh, got me this. this. Okay, so uh, there are a few problems. Keyboard input doesn't work yet, uh, but that's really a matter of uh, sitting down. Let, uh, I think like in a week it could be done. Um, it crashes a lot, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it deadlocks sometimes. Uh, Windows updates, for some reason, start from the uh, uh, coordinates 8 and 8, uh, which is re really weird. I, I couldn't track it down yet. Uh, and saving a file works. Actually, it should be worked because I checked it today and it actually crashes. And trying to open one, that looks, that looks this sweet. OK, so challenges. Uh, Lo uh, turnaround times are really long because uh, compiling uh, compiling is pretty long. But then, when I when I want to debug something, um, the debugger has to lo load a lot of symbols, and it can take like one two minutes. So any time uh, uh, I run it, the, uh, it takes a long time to track some to track some problems. Um, some feature switches on LibreOffice are unfinished, although. Uh, it's documented, it, um, but for example, there are situations like uh, when you disable connect, uh, scripting, some modules just won't build. Um, the API thread nature. So here, um, Haiku uses uh, for each window a new thread is created. Um, so that creates problems uh, with uh, VCL because it uh, tries to render from the main thread and the window has its own thread, so every drawing operation has to be, uh, has, uh, needs to have locks around it. And that was the reason why it crashed a lot, because uh, sometimes a uh, uh, command can, can be issued to the window that is already destroyed. So it's no longer there, and then it crashes. There are bugs in the system, which I'm going to talk more about later, and there are lots of dependencies which is also substantial amount, which amounts to a lot of work. Um, okay, so uh, porting libraries uh, is time consuming, but it's not that hard. Um, we, work is happening at Haiku ports, which is a, a port system like uh, Brew or uh, PKG SRC. 
Um, and uh, a lot of work was related to document liberation project libraries because f obviously we have ported free type for, for Haiku itself. Uh, NSS, other, other more popular uh, libraries uh, were already there. But document liberation project libraries are really used only by LibreOffice, so they needed to be ported. But this process was pretty easy because Haiku uh, has POSIX compatibility, even though we don't claim that we are Unix. So mo it's mostly, uh, it compiles mostly out of the box. Uh, one exception was uh, libmwadw. And uh, the issue was that uh, Exat it used in Haiku, it's uh, in another library, so it just need to, it needed to be linked in, and then it and then it built as well. Backs in the system, so CPP unit tests can't be run because CPP unit tester crashes on exit, and it appears to be a runtime loader issue. Uh, uh, it doesn't uh, run pthread destructors when uh, unloading the library. It tries to do that on application exit, but the library is unloaded, so the code is not there and there is a crash. And I think that TLS is broken, but it's over my head. So uh, the issue was that um, I was working on SAL frame. I added uh, another member, and then it started randomly crashing. And I've worked around the issue by moving members to another structure, and it works, but I have no idea what is happening there. Uh, memory dumps are just uh, garbage. They're, uh, they're, um, it just ne needs uh, some debugging to be done. Okay, so closing thoughts. Nothing is upstream yet. Uh, my main fear is that um, we are going to upstream it and then nobody will work on it so it will be pulled because currently I'm just one person working on it and it's quite a huge undertaking. Um, it was actually easier to do than expected. There is not a lot of code that needed to be touched. It's just VCL, uh, other SAL and OSL layers. Uh, it was just adding FDEVs uh, in proper places. Um, some code could be raised, used more, I think at least, because for example, SAL bitmap is just a code from Windows layer copied almost verbatim with only the uh, uh, system functions changed. And um, there is a link to, oh, uh, there is, uh, the easy, and I think the easiest part is done. Uh, it just needs to be stabilized, but that will obviously take much more work. Here is a link to the repo where you can find all the code. Uh, I will try to, upstre to uh, upstream some of it, but um, that, uh, that might happen a bit later. Okay, so any questions? What do you use for rendering? Do you use the headless back end, pyro stuff? No, no, no. Uh, it's, uh, I've done, uh, uh, the layer is B B API, native B API. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a new, completely new new layer. Okay. <laughs> so uh, as we have some time, uh, I uh, I can do a live demo, although it's not really impressive because it, it doesn't go very far. Okay, so. Thank you, sorry for leaving already. Uh, okay, so the first time it will crash, probably because something is unimplemented. And the second one works. And I can leave it out an image. Yeah, so that's all I have for today.